Holy shit, guys. I just went to the DI, just got off work. It's Tuesday. Had to go to the post office to mail off a few things. And I got a little bit of footage in there, but man, I just wanted to grab these games as quick as I could. Galactic Tazball, complete. Dropcast is complete. Bomberman Land, I don't think had the manual, but that's still pretty cool. And then Sonic Heroes was complete. Road Rage is complete. Kim Possible, what's the Switch is complete. Power Tennis is complete. Knights is complete. Coralines, no manual, and then kind of a shitty case, but that game's worth about 15 bucks disc only i looked it up cars is complete and i already own this one but i'm gonna upgrade my i got a player's choice copy so upgrading that uh lego star wars 2 the original trilogy is complete evolution skateboarding is fully complete god there's just so many here and a couple more what Sonic Mega Collection, complete. And the, this is the one that caught my eye. Paper Mario. This one's missing the manual, but I, if you, if you watch my videos, you'll see I just got this game recently and paid 35, which I thought was a good deal. Man, $3 for Paper Mario. I'm gonna upgrade my copy, because again, it's a player's choice, and then should be able to make most of my money back selling that disc in case I spent forty four fifty two. So yeah. Pretty good deal there. Peace. Alright, what's up everybody? I know I'm I haven't necessarily been trying to make videos every day, but uh it's been kinda working out that way. I've been finding some good stuff. I worked this morning and had one thing that sold yesterday on eBay that I was going to ship and then another item I had sold today while I was at work. Um, had the Madden 2012 on PS2 that I got for $3 at the DI a few months back. That sold for 16 plus shipping. And then I, I don't even know if I showed it on the video, but I got like a sealed ink cartridge for computer. That was 50 cents, so picked that up. And it only sold for $4, but still it's decent profit since I only paid 50 cents. And uh, so I came home after work, got off work about 2.20, 2.30, came home and grabbed the ink cartridge to, you know, go ship them both at the same time. And... The post office is right by the De Deseret Industries, excuse me. So I stopped by there and man, had some really good timing today. When I first walked in, I saw a guy looking at these three DS, three Nintendo DS games here, not three DS games, but uh, he had them all in his hand and I was like, oh cool, there's DS games, but kind of got worried because he was looking at them and then he put them back on the shelf and walked away. And uh, so I started grabbing stuff, and these aren't the first things I grabbed because I saw something else immediately, but I'm gonna save that for last because it's the best one of the bunch. But anyways, yeah, I got, and everything, each game here was $3. I got 14 in total, so I spent 44.52 with tax, which is probably, I think that's the most I've ever spent at this thrift store. But you'll see, it was definitely worth it. So I got, I've never even heard of this or seen it, Galactic Tazball, Tasmanian Devil and Marvin the Martian. Pretty cool looking. It's com I almost didn't get this one either, but it's got the manual in decent shape, so I picked it up. And then this is another one I almost didn't get, but same deal. It's got the manual. And this one actually looks kind of cool, Dropcast. It's like Tetris mixed with... I don't know, it says spell casting meets block matching. And the cool thing about 
this one too is it's the wireless ds single card download play i love those kind of games because i have me and my stepdaughter each have a 2ds and then i've got a ds Lite and a dsi so all four of us my whole family can play certain games you know a lot of these download games we can all sit there together and play which of course my four-year-old she's not really playing these games just yet but getting her started trying to get her worked up to some of the stuff and this was the ds game i grabbed immediately it was getting this one for sure unfortunately out of all of them this one doesn't have a manual it's got like the subscription thing but Bomberman Land Touch. That's a decently priced game made by Atlas. You know, most of their stuff ends up holding value or going up in value. So those were the DS games. And I got a couple PS2 games. Got Kim Possible. What's the Switch? Which I don't know much about this cartoon, but I've heard... I thought this game was worth a little bit more. I think I'd seen it on Sick Cooper's vlog before. And it's complete. It's only worth about 11 or 1050, something like that. But still, this will probably be a cool game for my daughter to play. And then I got Greatest Hits copy of Simpsons Road Rage. That's complete, which is pretty sweet. I already have this one, but I have a disc only copy. So upgrading my copy and probably selling should probably get about five bucks for the disc only one which you know like i said these were all three dollars a piece still got the price tags on them for now because i haven't been home long uh nights journey into dreams this one's in pretty rough shape but i've been looking for this one for a while and not like it's hard to find i mean i've seen it at gamestop several times and it's Gosh, I want to say it's less than $10 at GameStop. But uh, glad I held out because to find it for 3 bucks, pretty cool. I remember my bro older brother's friend growing up, Mariko, he had a Sega Saturn. And watching him play this game a few times over there and then playing it a few times myself. So excited to add that to my collection for sure. This one I'm probably going to sell... Because, I don't know. I mean, it looks... The case is super beat up. It's in, like, a D, just a regular DVD case. It looks like the artwork's legit. But... I don't know. I kind of want to keep it. But it's a little bit... Like, the movie's kind of scary for my kids. It's a little bit intense. And this one right here, Coraline, it's like a... $19 game complete 15 something with just the disc so I should be able to get a decent amount for that if I decide to sell it cars for GameCube this one I already own this but I own a player's choice copy so it's complete I'm going to upgrade my copy maybe put this up for I don't know it's only worth about $6 at the top so should be able to get five easy out of that. Lego Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, complete. Player's choice. I don't know if I'm going to hold on to this or not. I think I already have it for the Wii. Uh, somewhere. I've got Lego Star Wars, the complete saga for the Wii. I don't know if that's the same game or not, but... I don't know, this one again is not worth much. Even if I did sell it, it'd probably only worth about five, but six, something like that. But still complete, had to grab it. Never heard of this one, Evolution Skateboarding. Seems pretty cool though. It's got some, it's like a Tony Hawk clone or whatever. It's got some pro skaters in it and stuff. So and that's also complete. Then a couple Sonic games. Got the Sonic Mega Collection, which is Gemma. Turn it on, please. Thank you, my daughter. Turning my lights off. Sonic Mega Collection complete. I hear the regular version of this is really hard to find. So whatever, 
I'm glad I got any version at all being complete. Sonic Heroes. Never played this one here. That one's complete. Pretty. These are all in pretty decent shape for the most part. And this Mega Collection has just got like all the old school games on it. Which at this point I have most of these games now. Except for Sonic and Knuckles. I don't have Sonic 3, so that's cool. And then the Mean Bean Machine. And I think, if I remember correctly, you can unlock the Game Gear games. So that'll be cool. I'm saving the best two for last. A complete copy of Mario Power Tennis. Black Label. It's got the best seller thing, but still pretty good. And then this is the one that caught my eye at first. I saw, like I said, the guy was looking at the DS games and kind of walked up next to him and tried to see what he was looking at. And then they just had, I got a, about 12 seconds of footage or something because I just wanted to grab these games and check them out. And uh, they were kind of busy. So I didn't, you know, want to waste my time and leave them on the shelf or anything, but this was sitting right on top of one of the stacks. Thousand Year Door. This one, unfortunately, this and Bomberman were the only two that didn't have manuals. But still, this is like a $50 game. So, I got that. And it's a regular copy. So I'm going to upgrade my player's choice one that I got a while back. And I should be able to... I, like I said, I spent forty four fifty two. Should be able to make my money back. Probably selling this on eBay. I've seen them disc only go for forty five to fifty. So with the case and the game, should be able to recoup everything I spent on those today. And make a few bucks off of selling some of those others. So thanks for watching. Peace.